Hello, 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 and in today's video Sinzu will backflip to his glory. We'll make main DPS vaporize Sinzu build and put him against hardest chambers in Spiral Abyss. In the end of the video we'll maximize his damage and make double vaporize backflip. Are you ready? Let's go to the video. In my last video I finally got C6 Sinzu. And this is after 560 days when he first joined my account. And in today's video I will make him my main DPS. And I want to go the same route I went in my Yelland's video, we'll make him wait, but a little bit different. The theory behind team building stays the same, we need strong pyro applicator and strong dendro applicator. And even though Sinzu Hydra application is stronger than Yelland's, but this is already enough to make our Sinzu wait. Yes, it's not that consistent, but we will fix this later. And before we go to our first teammate, let's see what build I'll be using on my Singtsu. The weapon is Sacrificial Sword. I still wanna go with the double skills, because his skills multiplied is just insane. And to take advantage of his high energy recharge, I'm still going full emblem set. Constellation 6 and with the talent 2, 12 and 12. And because my emblem artifacts are bad, my stats doesn't look that great. But trust me, even with these stats, Sinzu can impress you. And this build looks like a standard off-field DPS Sinzu. But let's add our first teammate. And surprise, surprise, this will be Bennett. My Bennett is C6, and he will provide more pyro application for more consistent waves. Sinzu scales with attack, so he will benefit from pyro resonance. And another thing, Sinctus burst doesn't snapshot, and we will gain huge damage boost if we use him on field with the bayonet. And let's test how much exactly. So just strong shield. Using bayonet's burst, using Sinctus burst, going to Shangling and starting attack. So as we can see, we're doing 5000. 5000 per sword when Sinzu is not on the field. And let's see how situation will change if we use him as on field carry. The strong shield again getting hit. So using Bennett best, using Sinzu's best, starting attacks. And we're doing 8000. 8000 if we're using Sinzu on field. That's 60% improve in damage. Now let's see how full team will perform against overworld boss. Starting with Nahida, Bennett, Shang Li, Sing to Burst, first skill 87k, second skill 99 wave, and Swords wave for 24k. This was pretty close to Yelan's performance. And now when we're done with the team building, let's go to the Spiral Abyss. First chamber. Attack card, nice. Let's forge some metal dudes. So, Nahida. Bennett getting hit. Bennett's burst. Goba. Shangling's burst. Sinzu. First skill. Second skill. And the first robot is done. So, reapplying Jandra. Young to Sinzu. This Dinobot is the toughest here. So let's reset, Nahida, Bennett, Bennett's burst, Shangling's burst, Young to Sinzu, and Dinobot is down. Let's go to the third robot, Sinzu skill, another Sinzu skill. Let's reset, and the last robot, so, using Bennett's burst. Shangling's burst, Sinzu, waiting his skills, and the robot is already done, and we're finishing in 64 seconds. Wow, I'm really impressed with this team. So let's go to the second half. Nahida, Bennett, going to Shangling, restoring her energy, using Shangling's burst, Sinzu's skill, Sinzu's burst. Using normal attack, Samurai is already down, 
beast appears. So applying Dendra, using Nahida's burst to avoid damage, Binet's burst, restoring energy to Shangling, using Shangling's burst, Synthus burst, first Synthus skill, second Synthus skill, and half of the HP is already done. All right, all right, let's reset. So, Binet's burst, Shangling's burst, Synthus burst, using first skill, second skill, and we're finishing in 63 seconds. I knew this will be strong, but that strong. So, using Nahida, Bennett, Shang Ling, Tintus Burst, Tintus Skill, HT 3k, second skill doesn't crit, so let's just do spinners, restoring energy for the second rotation. So, starting pre casting, Nahida's Burst, Bennett's Burst, Shang Ling's Burst. Going to sing to 100 and H skill. Second skill doesn't crit again. So some 27k waves from this wards. Let's destroy spinner again. Restoring energy. So let's add pre casting. I hit as well. The net burst. Shang Ling's burst, Sing Tzu, first skill, 95, second skill, 100 and H, and he is done in 75 seconds. And let's put our steroid Sing Tzu against triple Mangu Kenki, applying Dendra, using Bennett's burst, restoring energy to Shang Ling, using Shang Ling, Sing Tzu's burst, first skill, 71k, Second skill doesn't see the number. Okay. Let's do some damage with normal attacks. Let's reset. Nahida's best to avoid damage. The net's best. Shang Ling's best. Sinti's best. Let's go. First skill, 100k. Second skill. And they're almost down. Let's finish last one. And 46 seconds for the triple Magu Kenki. And I want to end this video with a double vaporized damage per screenshot. And for this reason we need the fastest pyro applier in the game. And this is Ember's Burst. So let's go. Starting with Synthesis Burst, applying Hydra. Swirling Hydra, going to Bennett. Ember's Burst, going to Synthesis and double vaporized. Let's slow down a bit. So, first hit 247, and the second hit 282. That's more than half of the million damage in one skill. So, thank you for the watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.